Okay, so today's the day. <laughs> so today I'm taking Arthur to that pole work clinic that I mentioned a couple of times on Facebook. Um, so I'm having a bit of a chill out day today because I I worked on bank holiday Monday. I had to clean the clean our holiday cottage. Um, so I'm gonna do a bit of housework. But I'm going to get Arthur, well, get the trailer prepared and things like that um, to get off to this pleasure ride. Um, <laughs> I'm half expecting him to be on his toes because he does generally get quite excited when he goes somewhere. Um, so we'll just see. It will be very good practice for me because when I first got Arthur, I used to be able to deal with everything. So... <laughs> Um, I absolutely loved him bouncing around. I loved him doing little mini rears out of excitement. I loved the the, the daft bronking. <laughs> I just used to love that energy. Whereas now, I, after breaking my back, I'm obviously quite frightened of it. But I would love to get that back again because he is just such a lovely horse. And I he, he just gets excited. He does the same thing in the field. Um, he just gets excited by the atmosphere. He's only nine, isn't he? So... Um, I can totally appreciate it, but, um, yeah, normally in the past I've loved it, but now I've got to try and build my confidence up. So I, I'm kind of hoping that he's going to behave that way, um, just to give me a bit more confidence, um, and to feel how he used to feel almost rather than trying to avoid it all the time. Um, yeah, but let's get ready.
I've also changed tops because it is so warm <laughs> and I was too warm in the green one. Still has my logo though.
filmed this quite a few times now <clears throat> um but i thought i'd just give it one more shot um so anyway this is quite a few days after the poor work clinic now um but he was such a good boy um one of the negatives was he was a little bit swishy with his tail um and oh, it's my fault <laughs> Uh, but he had a tendency to want to stop after the polls and it's my fault because I've allowed him to do it at home um, and it's related to my confidence. Um, I have realised just how defensively I ride and I started to relax a bit um, towards the end and I noticed quite a big difference in R. He is also a little bit fussy with the bit, but this is something I've had really big problems with. I did have him in a straight bar for a while and he <clears throat> generally went really, really well in that. And for some reason, <laughs> um, I decided to change back to a double jointed bit. Um, and I think he's, he, he just becomes quite fussy. So I've moved him back to a, the straight bar that I used to ride him in and just see how he goes with that but he's not like he's not fussy when he's in a bitless bridle so I know it's related to the bit and it's probably just through um me being inconsistent and probably in his previous home as well I know that he was ridden in a Cheltenham gag um out doing like cross-country things um in his previous home at the age of four so um, I do know the bitten problems are my issue as well, but he's a lot better than what he was, but he is a little bit fussy. Um, and the positives were that I didn't actually notice um, the left hind gear deficit. Um, he looked pretty even to me and I did the video in slow-mo, so I zoomed in and I did it in slow-mo and... He also doesn't look like he's toe dragging either, so I found that quite a positive. But I did check his X-rays, so his very first X-rays, and I've been focusing on the left and the the left fore and hind for such a long time. But actually, he was quite unbalanced behind, so he was um, a negative angle <clears throat> on the left hind, and he was an ever so slightly positive angle on the right hind so I now barefoot going barefoot that has actually evened them both up and they're both looking more um in more even alignment so I'm not fully sure if this has been my potential gear deficit um but he was so nice in the canter he even on a loose rein where he had to balance himself he just looked so nice and so flowing which is something that I'm not used to with Arthur I also forgot to add in that obviously Arthur doesn't really look very pretty. Um, he isn't in a pretty outline um, pretty much throughout the whole of the videos that I've shared because I didn't ask for it. <laughs> um, I think it's there is so much pressure that um, the equestrian community puts on each other, right? It's kind of like an invisible thing where your horse must be in a round outline. Your horse must be on the bit. Your horse must be this, this, this. Um, and I'd love to have a horse that would naturally do that. But Arthur hasn't done a significant amount of work and he has kissing spines. Um, 
so I didn't specifically ask for it. Um, this was just all about getting his car engaged, which I think that we achieved. Um, and he really started to work well towards the end of it. I wasn't really thinking about him looking pretty at all. I was just wanting to um, get him moving a bit and to get him activating his core a bit and get those stomach muscles um, exercise, which I do think we achieved because you can see the muscle lines. Um, he was such a good boy. He was quite keen. He was quite on his toes at the beginning, but he was a very good boy. I think he was just quite enjoying being somewhere new. Um, feeling a little bit down in the dumps a little bit because obviously it's badminton, right? And <laughs> I'm just missing the I'm just missing the the the, the fun aspects that I kind of got a horse for. Obviously, Arthur is the most important thing. So even if it meant retirement, that's what would happen for him. Obviously, I hope that that's not, that's not going to be the case. Um, but at the end of the day, I, there is a good chance that I'm wrong as well. <laughs> um, but I'm just missing it a little bit, that's all. Um, <clears throat> I got the diagnostic results back from... Um, I got the test results back from that diagnostic test that I had done at hospital. And yeah, I'm, I'm right. My condition is worse. Um, so that's kind of got me on a bit of a downer. Um, sometimes I wish that I could kind of have like an outlet on my horse in the way that I used to enjoy it. But obviously I can't. And that's the way it is. And as long as Arthur is happy... Um, and as long as I keep on pursuing to make sure that he's um, happy and healthy, that's what's more important. But you can't help these things. <laughs> you can't help missing things that you used to love doing. <laughs> um, I'm just human, right? But he'll always come first over what I want to do. But yeah, all in all, it was a success. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> as I said, I've realised just how much my confidence gets in the way. I think I'm, I tell him to go. But I'm saying go, but don't go, go, but don't go. And I think he gets mixed signals because he is a very sensitive horse. Um, you can get him to walk, trot, canter, canter, trot, walk just by your body alone. <clears throat> um, I was so impressed with his canter transitions on a straight line because I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually trained him to do that. I've just tried to be consistent whenever I've ridden him in the school with how I ask him to canter, um, usually in the corners. So I was really impressed with that. I think he got it right 80, 90% 80, of the time. <laughs> um, but I wasn't kicking him on enough over the poles, I guess, when we were getting it kind of slightly wrong. Um, but yeah, so it's just things to work on, isn't it? I'll definitely be doing it again because I really enjoyed myself. And hopefully during the time between the next one, I'll be able to try and work on my confidence a little bit more. It's definitely getting better. It's just taking time. But anyway, until the next one.